deception and deceit. Evil displayed as a smile on your face. What do you gain? How do you sleep when you know that you're lying through your teeth? How do you sleep when you know that you're lying through your teeth? There is nothing hidden Deception, deception and deceit and deceit and deceit Evil displayed as a smile on your face What do you gain? How do you sleep when you know that you lie through your teeth? How do you sleep when you know that you lie through your teeth? There is nothing hidden under the sun. Mm. Oh. There is Baby, good morning. I hope the morning will remain good if I leave you behind. What? Jeez, I'm going to be late. Hey, oh, why did you wake me up now? The truth oh. will suffice. Betrayal and disgrace Even a shame drips down from your face Oh, that you were Now did you see That your plans blew up in your face Now did you see Bring my coffee That your plans blew up in your face there is nothing hidden under the sun. Come in. There is nothing hidden under the sun. Come on, sir. Thank you. Uh, please bring the files, yeah? Okay. In a matter of time. In a matter of time. There is nothing hidden on yes. the sun. Nothing, nothing. How busy is my day? Very busy, sir. Listen. Okay, sir. Um, sir, so by 10 a.m., you'll be having a meeting with Professor Josephine, followed by the meeting with Mr. Sabinus, your new investor, by 12 p.m. The CEO of Vista TV production will be here by 2 p.m. to seal the deal. Then, PTA meeting with Melody School by 4 p.m. So. Judith. Yes, sir. Tell me why I pay you every month. Sir. Get out. Drop the files and get out. There is nothing hidden under the sun. In a matter of time, in a matter of time, in a matter of time, the truth will surface. Hello? Today is Melody's PTA meeting. I want you to go this time. My day is choked up. Work? What work? Hello? Rose? Hello? There is nothing hidden under the sun. Where did I go wrong? In a matter of time. What's the worst that can happen today? In a matter of time. In a matter of time. The truth 
Good evening, Dad. These children with coconut head, this generation of children. What is wrong with you? Hmm? Don't try it again. I've always told you to greet your father. There is nothing he did under the sun. There is nothing he did <laughs> In a matter of time, 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 in a matter of time, in a matter of time, in a matter of time, there is nothing hidden under the sun. Nothing, nothing. There is nothing. We need to talk. Babe, we need to get a driver. Why? For obvious reasons. What kind of question is that? We both missed Melody's PTA meeting today. To worsen things, she was the last student to leave her school. Anything could have happened to her. She could have been hurt or anything. It's a risk we can't afford. Please. The poor child must have been hungry and frustrated. Was that why she acted that way? I'm sorry she took it out on you. I've corrected her. I'm not making excuses for her bad behavior, but please. I know your plate is full, babes. You have a lot of work to do. I'm also busy at work. It will just make things a lot easier if we get a driver. The driver you say? Yes. Okay. A driver you get. Thank you. Good night. Yes, come in. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Sir, you have a visitor. A visitor? Yes, sir. Who's that? A strange looking man. He said he was referred to you by Mr. Demilade. Oh, uh, send him in. Okay, sir. Right. Excuse me, though. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Please, uh, have a seat. Thank you, sir. Deception. So I'm sorry. That's my face. My name is uh, Ayadeyemi. I am a fire accident survivor. The fire almost took my life. But I'm sorry. I'm thankful I survived it. I can do everything. Mr. Demilady told me everything about you. But if he didn't make mention of your face or your looks, um. I mean, since he referred you to me, it's fine. Thank you, sir. But can you drive? Very well, sir. You sure? Very well. Okay. Um, when do you think you can start work? 
Anytime is fine. I can step now if you want. Just, just a minute. Judith, cancel my meetings. Yes, for tomorrow. Reschedule them. Betrayal and disgrace. Even a shame drips down from your face. All oh, that you wear. Now, did you see? That your plans blew up in your face. Now did you see? How well do you know that driver? <clears throat> Mr. Deminati referred him to me after I told him I wanted a driver. Is there a problem? He, he, he looks. What about his looks, man? He had a fire accident, and that's it. Besides, if it was dangerous, I don't think Mr. Demilade would refer him to me. But this... But what, baby? Are you expecting me to bring Prince Charming as a driver? Please. I had a long day. You wanted a driver? I provided one. But I don't like this one now. I don't like this one! He... He, he irritates me now. I, I, I don't understand. What kind of driver is that? Please, please, we need to change you. We need to change him. This is, I don't I don't accept this one. My spirit does not accept him. Baby. He's a nice guy. Forget about his looks and get some sleep. <sighs> When is your exam? Time table says it's next week. Are you prepared? Melody, your father is talking to you. Mom, Dad, I'm going to trust you. What is wrong with your daughter? Excuse me? What is wrong with your daughter? Oh, so now she's my daughter. What's with her attitude? Why is she behaving like that? I don't know. Maybe you should spend some father-daughter time with her. I don't have time for that. I think you should talk to her because she's a woman like you. You know what? I don't want to miss my flight. So... We're here. Melody. Is everything okay? You can talk to me if you need someone to talk to. I'm sorry I, I haven't introduced myself to you. My name is Ayo Adeyemi. What people call me Hear me for short. I used to be handsome until I had an accident that scared me for life. I lost everything, everything. 
my house, my wife, my family. I must admit, it was very hard for me to put myself together again. But here am I, being your driver. I can also be your friend too, if you want. <sighs> well, I believe I've told you a little about me. Can you tell me small about yourself? If I come in? Oh, come on. Don't be scared. I mean no harm. Are you alright? If you really want to talk to someone, you can talk to me. Okay? How about we go and get some... Uh, Ice cream and pizza. Yes, come in. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Sir, Mr. Malo said I should give this to you. What's that? I have no idea, sir. I think it's confidential. Okay, okay. Anything else? No, sir. Okay, thank you. Mr. Andrew Anderson. Hey! <laughs> have fun now. Have a seat. Ah! How far? What's good? Yeah, I'm good, oh. Long this time. Yeah, I know. I know. Seems you've been busy. I barely see you around these days. I know, I've been so busy. You know, my wife has traveled and I'm mommy and daddy at the same time. So mm. it's not been easy. Okay. Man, where's she baby? She went to see her parents. You know, her dad is back in diabetes. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's all good. I hope you get well soon. So, how far now? That guy I've been recommending you. I'm saying that they give you one. The driver? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I've, I mean, for now, he's well behaved. But did you didn't tell me when. Excuse me. <clears throat> Hello? Yes, good afternoon. Yes, you're speaking with Mr. Andrew Anderson. Who am I speaking with? Oh, Mrs. Mary. How are you? Wait, wait, wait. wait. Can you slow down? I can't hear you. What did you say? Stabbed? My daughter? Where, where is she? Where the hell is my daughter? I'm coming right away. Yeah, I don't talk. Stop. Oh, God. You need to calm down. She you're asking fine. me to calm down. No, you're asking me to calm down? My daughter is in a critical condition and you're asking me to be calm. I understand. I understand. Mrs. Mary. Can you explain to me how my daughter got into this hospital? 
It was during break time when I saw some students gathered. I decided to go and check what was going on. Mr. Anderson, your doctor gripped the neck of another student, trying to strangle her to death while I was trying to separate them. The other student brought out a pen knife, stabbing your mouth. A pen knife? So sorry. So sorry. Sorry to interrupt you, Mr. Anderson. Yes, that's, that's me. Okay, your daughter lost a lot of blood. My God. Um, what, what can I do? I, I, I am ready. We need to run a few tests on you right now. Okay. Let's see if the blood matches. Okay. It's urgent. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Excuse me. Hello? We found a match in our blood bank. Melody is safe now. But there might be a problem. How do you mean, Doc? Okay. We don't have enough blood for you. But that is not a problem. I, I have enough to spare. I'm really sorry. You're not compatible. That's quite disappointing. Well, what about my wife? The same result too. She is not compatible. Doctor, please tell me, what's my daughter's blood group? All right. Uh, Melody is O negative and her blood group is AS. Both of you share the same or positive and your blood groups are AA. So is that clear now? Um, <clears throat> I, I, I don't understand. Can you please explain how this is possible? Well, biologically it is. But I will advise that you have this talk with your wife. But bear in mind that Melody needs more blood in order to make it out alive. So I'll go ahead and source for more blood. Thank you. You're welcome. Betrayal and disgrace. Even a shame drips down from your face. All that you wish. Now did you see? Yes, doctor. Oh, you, you found a donor? Wow, that is great news. Praise God. Okay, thank you very much. I will see you later. In a matter of time, in a matter of time. In a matter of time, there is nothing hidden under the sun. Nothing, nothing. There is nothing hidden under the sun. In a matter of time, in a matter of time. Everything will be fine. Okay. I just need you to be strong for me. I will. Thanks for being here. You know, I love you, right? Yes. I love you too. I don't do anything for you. Tell me. Tell me nothing but the truth. Is this something I need to know? Um, Are you hiding anything from me? No, babe. I'm not hiding anything. Tell me what I need to know. Babe, babe. I am babe. sick and tired of your lies. Babe. Hmm? Babe, babe, stop. What are you hiding from me? What are you hiding from me? Nothing! Nothing? I'm not hiding anything. You sure? Yes, I'm sure. Baby! Tell me the truth! Ah! Tell me the truth! Ah! Wait, I'll tell you! I'll tell you! Huh? I'll tell you! I'll tell you! Oh, oh. Oh. Tell me who is Melody's father! In the of 
keep you waiting for too long. Oh my God. You look beautiful. <laughs> Thank you, babe. Wow. Uh, shall we? Yeah, sure. After you. Who is it? Traffic today. I beg, enter. Too late. My house is dry. Babe, how far James' wedding? Are you still interested? Hmm. You know that wedding that they are paying 150k for Ashibi? Mm -hmm. Why am I going to see that kind of money? <laughs> what about Alex? Linda. What? What? Well, Alex is dealing with a lot right now. He has so many business plans. I can't come and add as a B money to his issues now. Eh? I'm so sure he won't be able to spare me 150K. Hmm. <laughs> oh, <Omo>. more. <laughs> I don't know how you girls do it. Over my dead. Mm -mm, no, wait. I'm not dead yet. Over my alive, beautiful body. Me? Did a broke guy. <laughs> no, no, no. I rebuke such circumstances. Rose, look at you now. Check you out, Rose. You're a beauty. You need a man that will spend on you carelessly. Like, I don't even know what you're doing with your brain. <laughs> oh, you're using your hat. <laughs> Who falls in love these days? Only fools, my darling. Only fools. What are you saying? Like, what are you talking? Eh, eh. Hold it, sister. I mean, what is wrong with what I am saying? Eh? Gina, you that is acting like Maria Maka. Are you not married to a rich man? Are you not enjoying life? It's okay, mm? it's okay. So you want your friend to suffer while you, you enjoy? I you beg. are such a wicked fellow! I mean, you are guys, don't insult me. Now. Don't even try it. It's okay, that's enough. It's okay. Mm -hmm. I have gist. You don't want to hear my gist. I'm upset. It's about Andrew. <laughs> you see your life. <laughs> we went out on a date. Oh, oh, now you are talking. <laughs> now you are talking. I mean, can you imagine you have a rich man in your life begging to marry you? And you are here doing Jack and Rose with this broker sneaker. I beg, I beg. How did it go, Jared? Just me. How did it go? <laughs> it was so beautiful. Oh. Actually, he's very sweet. Oh. He came here, picked me up, and brought me back home afterwards. He's rich <laughs> and cute oh. and nice. Oh. You get mind. What uh. if Alex caught both of you? I knew Alex would be back by 12 a.m. now. So what's the problem? Yeah. Bad chick, bad chick. <laughs> and every you shower. <laughs> How can you be jealous? What's, what's, why are you confused? I thought you were encouraging sorry, me. Sorry, sorry, no, it's go. good, it's good. Trust to that, trust to that. Now you want to my class. What? Yeah. Gina. Okay. <laughs> what's wrong with you saying? Leave Gina alone. <laughs> Deception and deceit. Evil display, there's a smile on your face. What do you gain? How do you sleep? When you know that you're lying through your teeth. How do you sleep? When you know that you're lying through your teeth. There's nothing hidden under the sun There is nothing hidden under the sun In a matter 
So it's the noise of the generator that has been sounding. Rose, I am talking to you. Where are you going dressed like this by this time of the night? Rose, I am talking to you! Answer me! What is it now? What is your problem? I'm not even married to you and you're trying to control hey, me. Hey, 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 hey! Then what can... Gay, gay! Don't fuck me. Where are you going to? I only ask a simple question. You must answer me! A simple question that is not worthy of an answer. Where I'm going to is none of your business. Rubbish! Rubbish! Yes! Rubbish! And I turned you up in your bed. Now did you yes. see? Yes! What? As you planned you up in your bed. There is nothing hidden under the sun. There is nothing hidden under the sun. In a matter of time. Deception and deceit. Evil displayed as a smile on your I'm face. I'm sorry, I said, where are you coming from? What and what's the meaning of that rubbish question? Useless question, he said. How do you sleep? If you really want to know, when you I went out with my girls. You through your teeth. Girls night out? You went out with your girls. I'm calling Linda. Please do. What is rubbish I have to stop? You went out with your girls. And I'll be calling you who refuse to pick my calls. Hello, Linda. Yeah, good morning. Linda, I'm fine. Please, love, let me quickly ask you a question. Okay. It's all right. Thank you. What did she say? Honey, I'm sorry. Deception and deceit. I'm so, so sorry. Will you ever forgive me? Please, I, I am doing this because of the love I have for you. I can't stand the thought of another man touching you. Please, please find it in your heart to forgive me. It's fine, it's okay. Just get up, it's fine. Mm. Oh, you need to trust me. You need to stop doing this. It's okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. You look good, by the way. Thank you. You must be hungry, I guess. No, I'm fine. Sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're welcome, darling.
Alex, what is it now? Why are you just standing there looking at me? Is there a problem? No. It's just that um, I bought something for you, but I don't know how to go about it. What is it? <coughs> Sorry. Sure, you don't need water. I'm fine. Rose. Mm -hmm. You know I love you, right? Mm -hmm. You know if I have the right amount of money, I will take you to the church and get married to you right away, right? I know I have not been the man of your dreams. Probably I have not been treating you well. We are having issues in this house. But, while I see what in for, money are putting things together, I bought something for you. My beautiful Rose and I, please, please Rose. Can you marry me? <coughs> Sorry, darling. Sorry. Alex. This is this is completely unnecessary now. Don't you think you're taking things too fast? You know what? I'll I'll wait. <coughs> I'll wait. Um okay, right. I'll just I'll worry depending what you hit that million dollar deal. Is that okay? Deception, deception, and deceit, and deceit, and deceit. Evil displayed as a smile on your face. <laughs> How do you gain? Don't worry. I'll finish it soon. You will see what I'm doing. Very soon you oh, open up a see. salon for me. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! Oh, sorry, sorry. Babes, take it easy now. Be careful. I'm sorry, darling. It's not intentional. Just that your hair is kind of stiff. Yeah. Yeah, I have soft <laughs> hair. Mine is softer than yours. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I prefer yeah. our kids have my kind of uh, soft hair, but they must have your sexy eyeballs, your pointed nose, and uh, probably your sexy and soft, succulent lips. <laughs> Did you just say our kids? Yeah. Uh, let me ask you. How many kids would you want us to have? Three? Four? How much do you have in your account? Hmm? No, let's be realistic in this relationship. Do you think we're capable of raising children right now? No, think about it now. Rose, what is this? Why are you attacking me right now? Why? Because you just don't know when to stop. What did I just do? Stop what? Only ask a harmless question. A harmless it's, question? Yes, a simple question at like that. A simple question that reminds me of the fact that you are constantly broke? Come on! Every day is one story after the other. Oh, babe, I'm working on this million dollar deal. I'm working on this proposal. I'm working on this project. When are you going to sign the deal? For crying out loud! I'm not getting any younger. Look at me! Look at me! My biological clock is ticking! Tick tock, tick tock! If you don't do anything, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to, I might just... I might just do what? What is going on? I what is happening? This minute we're just loving. Mm -hmm. Losing your hair, we're just happy together. Mm -hmm. The next minute you're nagging. What's going on? Listen to me, Rose. You are not like this before. What's going on? Be there asking me stupid questions. What? Deception. Deception and deceit. Evil displayed as a smile on your face. What do you gain? How do you sleep when you know that you lie through your teeth? How do you sleep when you know that you lie through your teeth? There is nothing hidden under the 
Hold on. There is nothing hidden under the sun. In a matter of time. In a matter of time. Look, I don't have power to argue with you right now. I don't have energy for this. Neither do I want to start trouble either. Baby, I'm so sorry. I am so sorry, yes. I know I have insecurity issues, but I'm trying to work on that. Please, pardon my excesses, Rose. I love you. I love you too, but you need to give it to. Guess what? What? Just guess. Mm. I made dinner for you. <laughs> you cooked. <laughs> you strange, right? Ah, <laughs> oh, come on, let's go to the table. That's a nice way to apologize. <laughs> you can say that again. <laughs> to the table. <laughs> You're Aww. welcome. Sweet. Hey. <laughs> oh. Hey. Sit. <sighs> Thank you. You're welcome. Mmm, my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please, um, I forgot to get water for you to wash her. Forgive my manners. <laughs> that's true. It's okay. I'll just use the kitchen and wash my hands there. Oh, that's better. Considering the fact that you're just returning from an outing. Only God knows where those two hands of yours must have touched. And what is that supposed to mean? What's the meaning of that statement? Calm down. I was only joking. It's not what you think. Alex. Alex, you started. Oh. Honey, you started. Honey, wait. Just go to the kitchen and wash those two dirty hands of yours and come and eat. Don't ruin this moment for us. Just be doing it anyhow. <laughs> I love you, baby. Go, baby. Hurry up, baby. Wow. <laughs> I love it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So refreshing. <laughs> Betrayal and disgrace. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Divine. Divine? Mm -hmm. Okay, just read it. How many percent? Mm, 100. Wow. Yeah. So I can eat. It's so good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what? I don't know. I just. 
just what? You know, I feel kind of dizzy and I feel full. Sure, Barbara. Are you okay? So intense, my goodness. I know. Oh, it was wet. <laughs> I've never felt that way before. Yeah. Never your first time. <laughs> <laughs> I can go another if you want. What? <laughs> no. Do I look like a porn star? Forget about the porn star, baby. You needed to see yourself some few minutes ago. Are you for You are acting like you are. <laughs> <laughs> that was lovely. My yeah. goodness. <laughs> Thank you. Stop. Thank you. Stop. Come Mom. on. Come on. Come on. Stop. 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 <laughs> Hi girl. <laughs> I'm so excited. What was it that you couldn't tell us on the yeah. phone? Just be coming down. Wait. Thank you. Uh -uh. Wait now. Nice. <laughs> welcome. Mm. Welcome. Yeah. welcome. Someone is super excited. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. What's up, girl? Wait. Alex proposed to you. Which Alex? Andrew! <laughs> Some says has caught into the silly head of yours! Rose, are you okay? Are you fine? Do you need help? Is there something we can do for you? Girl, do I smell that bad? I think it's your perfume. Perfume? <laughs> I've been using this for a while. In fact, you you said you liked it. You're right, I remember. Oh. Wait. Rose, are you pregnant? No. I'm not supposed to be. <laughs> Have you not been sleeping with two men? Remember? Um, we take it easy on her, please. <sighs> Whenever I sleep with Andrew, we use protection. But with Alex, he uses the withdrawal method, so... Look, I don't know what you both are talking about. Do you have pregnancy test trip at home? If you don't have, I will go and get one for you right away. I think... I think I should have one somewhere. Ah, oh, baby, I'm home. Ah, oh, it was so hectic today. Ah. Mother, what is it? Are you okay? I don't know. I really don't know how I'm feeling. What is it? What is the problem? Talk to me. The landlord was here. But I've paid my rent.
Oh my God. Oh my God. This is good news. Oh my God. I can't believe I'm about to become a father with the love of my life. Thank you. <laughs> I'm not keeping it. What? What are you talking about? I said I'm not keeping this pregnancy. How can you expect me to keep this? Eh? Have you done things the proper way? Have you met my family? Eh? Think. Use your brain. Think for once. Well, wait, who can fix it? It's not what you think. Honey, oh honey, wait, wait, wait. Who can fix this thing? Ha! Ah, this is good news, honey. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, how are you feeling? I don't know. A lot is going on right now. I'm just just confused. I'll get you with Alex. Why? You're not very smart, Rose. Excuse me? Excuse you too! I thought you'd finally receive some sense, but damn it! I was wrong again. Can't you just respect my situation and give me a break? Fine, fine. Look, I was thinking, what if you break up with Alex? Move in with Andrew then, have a quick one with him, boom! Tell him you're pregnant. Remember, the goal is to end up with someone that can take care of you and your child. Hey. Mm -hmm. I knew you were a lot of things, but I didn't realize you were this heartless. <laughs> so I'm heartless for giving you good advice. Oh, well, you're welcome. If that's a thank you, I get. Whatever. Mm -hmm, babe, please, how can I lay my hands on abortion pills? <laughs> you're asking me. Mm -hmm. As in Linda the doctor or Linda the whore? The second one. Really? Yes. You know what I'm out of here? Uh uh, come now. Someone cannot even pick you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Keep trying. Wait, Oh my goodness. <laughs> At least you're laughing now, you're smiling. That's good. Take your slutty ass out of my house. Get out! You can't. Get out before I do something silly. Nonsense. Nonsense. You call this a house. Uh, wait, 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 wait. What is it? What? I'm sorry, I'm not fighting you anymore. Rose, please. Please don't go. I'm sorry. Please tell me what I did wrong. I will understand. I'm sorry for whatever thing I said to you back there in the room. I'm sorry. Rose, I'm sorry. Please don't leave me. You know how much I love you. Love? Love is not enough! Okay? I can't do this. I can't do this. Okay? Have a nice life. I'm going. No, no, I can't do this. Rose, wait, wait, wait. Just wait. Wait, 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 please. I'm sorry. Please don't leave me. Fine. I know we both need some space. I'm ready to cope with that. But please, tell me, which of your friends' house are you going from here? So I could come visit you once in a while. Until we both get back together. Cool oh, news flash. I am done with this relationship. Whatever it was we shared is gone. It's expired. It doesn't exist anymore. Can't you hear me? Rose. 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 Please. Why are you like this? My cousin. 
<laughs> Your cousin. Yes. Why did he lay his hands on you? No. Then what happened? I told him I was getting married to you. And then I, I was so excited and I was happy. I told him I was looking forward to spending the rest of my life with you. And I really thought that he would be happy for me. Like, I thought he would be excited that finally I'm getting married. But no, he just fled up and, and started throwing my things and telling me that I'm not ready to get married, that I should have waited. And why would I say yes when you asked me to marry you? And I was just like, you're my cousin. You should want what's best for me, right? Yeah. But no, he, 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 he sent me out of the house, he flung my things out and he said he never wanted to see me in the house again. It's okay, Deception. Right? And it's okay. Seat. Yes. yes. I need you to promise me something. What is that? I don't want you to ever come around. Promise me we won't try to resolve anything with him because he's very dangerous he's he's he's, he's acting so paranoid and scary and he threatened to kill me or you if he ever saw us step foot in baby, the house baby, and i don't baby. want to lose baby. you baby i don't want Listen to lose to you <laughs> i promise I, I, I won't okay i promise let's, let's i love you baby please. i love you too i promise okay let's go <laughs> In a matter of time, in a matter of time, in a matter of time, the truth will surface. Hi, Rose. Alex, what's wrong with you? No, is something wrong with you? Are you stalking me now or what? Rose, come on. Please forgive me for whatever I've done wrong to you. Rose, just look at me. My life has never been the same ever since you left. Lord, please. Rose, please come back to me. Please. Okay, fine. I promise to make things right this time. I'm... Wait, I'll go after him. Hey! I Why do you have to do this? You're a promising young man. Are you handicapped? Can't you walk? You are the reason people are giving us bad names in this country. Now I do you a favor as a fellow young man. Drop the handbag on the floor together with the phone and run. I promise not to scream. Drop it! I said, I said you should drop it. One. <laughs> Two. Drop it! Drop it on the floor. Thief! 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 Uh, I'm not a thief! 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 You're the thief! Thief! I'm not a thief! 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 Wait! Thief! Ah. Thief! I'm not a thief! I'm not a thief! I'm not a thief! I'm not a thief! I'm not, I'm not a thief! thief.
Somebody help me, oh, hey! Somebody! You kept me in the dark for 15 years. I'm sorry. Baby, 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 please, baby, please, 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 Lying to me! I gave you everything you wanted because I know how materialistic you can be. You don't care about your daughter nor myself. All you care about is money, money, money! I cannot forgive you. To think of the fact that the girl I call my daughter is not even mine! Where do I even start from? Huh? Tell me, where do I start from? We can start to heal over, we can start all over, we can start again, please. Then who is my father? You're supposed to be here! Wow. Both of you can finally see me. I thought I was invisible. I thought I was an orphan. You should go back upstairs. Now. No! Listen to your father. Where were you when I needed someone to talk to? I was bullied by some some pupils in my school because they felt I was a rich kid. They felt I had it all. I just wanted my parents' attention. But you people were always at work. You people are always concentrated in your work. No time for me. Sometimes I ask myself, why did you both of you get married if you don't love her? Baby, baby, sweetie, you need to go back to your room. You need to rest. You're, you're recovering. I don't even know who my father is. I'd rather die than to leave. Baby, don't say, don't say anything like that, baby. Go ahead and tell her why she can't see her father for her crime and did not commit. Tell her 
How you lied to me that your cousin baby, is her father? Baby, please, Tell her how you killed. Don't touch me. Tell her how you killed her father. Just because he chose to save your life, you are not your life. Tell her because he didn't know your father is dead or alive. I am alive. I am still very much alive. Hello, Rose. You remember me? Alex. Alex? Wait, a driver? Is, am, I, am I missing something here? Are you playing me? No, 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 I was the anonymous blood donor. I was arrested by the police for a crime I did not commit. I am Alex. In a matter of time. In a matter of time. Mr. Demilade gave me some contacts. He told me that you people are in need of a driver. When I looked at the contacts, I recognized her number. After that, I called her and she answered. The rest was history. Nobody makes mistakes. Nobody is above mistakes. Nobody is perfect in this life. Even your mother. I made a mistake. I'm sorry. I, I wanted to give you the best. I did it for you. I did it for you. I wanted you to have the best life. Please forgive me. I feel so ashamed. That is when my mother is worse. I feel disgusted. I don't want to have anything to do with you. I despise you with every drop of blood that runs through my veins. Please, baby, 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 please. Not waste time on this. Sign the documents. My lawyer will contact you.
Please, please, please think about us. Please. Just give me a second chance. Stop, stop. Stop this. Please, 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 please. Don't touch me. What's wrong with you? I'm becoming worried and I don't want to ask you what the problem is because I know at the right time you would share. I just need you to know that I'm always here for you, okay? yesterday 15 years ago you you gave me some some powerful words of advice and I didn't listen I should have listened to you look at me now just look at my life where do I go from here what do I do Whatever it is you're having with Andrew, it can be sorted out. We're divorced! What? Gina, my goodness! Andrew found out Melody is not his. How? Alex. They met? Andrew hired Alex as his driver. I don't understand. Rose, how? 
Yeah, before I forget, Mr. Marlow said there will be a board meeting on Monday. I don't know why, but... That's all right. Well, I hope it will be that important. I hope so, too. Let me start going, man. I have one or two things I need to... Before you uh, leave, I have some few questions to ask. Okay. This driver you referred to me... Yeah, me. How well do you know that man? Yemi... Yemi was a colleague at my former working place. That was many years ago. And, uh, good guy. Really good guy. Hard working too. But to, the guy disappeared like... Just like that. We searched for him. We looked everywhere. Called him. Couldn't reach him. Until recently I saw him uh, at a mechanic workshop. Told me a story, really sad story. You know, going to jail or being arrested for a crime he didn't know anything about. But, you know, he wanted something doing, so I gave him your card since I, I knew you needed a driver. So. Any problem? Thank you. Andrew, are you okay? You know, it turns out that he's my daughter's biological father, Rose's ex. How? Come in. Have you been crying? How are you feeling? I know I'm the last person you wish to talk to. But a lot has been going on between your mother and I for years. And I've been struggling to fix it. I have failed to realize that I have a beautiful daughter that needs my attention. I know I have not been the best dad in the world. Please forgive me. What's the problem? Is she coming back home? I don't think so. Aren't you? Who? The driver. What about the driver? What if he comes back to take you away from here? Melody, nobody is going to take you away without my consent or against your will. You can stay here for as long as you want. This is your home. <laughs> okay? 
I don't want you to think that whatever happened is going to make me love you less. Nothing has changed. You will always be in my heart, my pretty little angel. Is your dad around? Can I see him? <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much for yeah. all you've done for me and my daughter. You're indeed a godsend. You don't need to thank me. Everything happens for a reason. <laughs> I asked you to um, come because I want you to have this. Hmm? Yeah, take it. It's for you. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Jesus! Andrew. Four millionaire. In my name. How? Yes. No, tell me what is going on here. Um, Alex, it's high time you start to do something for yourself instead of working for me. Andrew, you've done a lot already. It's okay. I am doing this for Melody. She deserves the best. Hey! God. Can you stop shouting? Andrew, my God hey, no, 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 no. will bless you. Thank you. My God will replenish the wherever stands. this is coming from. Amen. Thank you. Just... My God will elevate you. Can you just stand up? Hey! Melody's in the house. Why are you shouting? Melody! Hey, hey, hey. What's wrong with you? No, let her come. So <laughs> we'll thank you together. No, no, no. Please, please, please. Jesus. <laughs> Did I do any work for you? No. You're not owing me. And you're not owing me too. Andrew, for me, don't Yeah. Yes. Who called? He called. And what did you tell him? I ended the call. I wonder how he got my number. I gave it to him. Why? I bumped into him at the supermarket and he asked for your number. Why did you give him my number? Because I saw it in his eyes. He really wanted to talk to you. That guy still loves you. Not after everything I've done to him. I'm sure he's back for revenge. He, he wants to destroy me. Love makes us do stupid things. Babe, when next he calls, pick his call. Give him a listening ear. This might be God. It's been six months already. You need to get yourself together. What am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to do that? Start by eating. Start by finding happiness. Start by knowing your environment. Start by doing new activities. Make it sound so easy, but honestly, it's not. Am I becoming a burden to you? Do you want me out of your house? Because honestly, just tell me, okay? If I'm becoming a burden, then you can say it. And I'll pack my bags and look for some alternative. That's not what I'm saying. You know, the most annoying thing is the person who put you in this situation is somewhere enjoying herself. She doesn't even call. She doesn't know how you're doing. 
Did you even inform her? Did you tell Here her? Here we go again. You keep blaming her. It was my decision to make. I made these decisions myself. And so I'm going to bear the consequences. But she instigated you, didn't she? And how is this helping me? There's no point crying over spilt milk. I have to take responsibility for my actions and look, I don't want to talk about this right now. I just want you to get yourself back. I just want you to be okay and happy. That's it. Hey, <laughs> Miss Andrew, good afternoon. I mean, how are you? Good I'm afternoon. fine, thank you. Please, have a seat. Thank you very much. <laughs> you look good. Oh, thanks. <laughs> and thanks to you, man. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, uh, you're welcome. So oh, tell me. This is for you, sir. This is, oh, wow. <laughs> thank you so much. Oh, you. You're welcome, sir. Nice choice. <laughs> Let me thanks. just keep this here for myself. Thank you. So tell me, um, how is your business coming up? Well, um... I thank God. And I'm still optimistic that um, very soon our plan will come to pass. Of course, with time you'll get there. Thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> so how is uh, Melody? How is she doing? Oh, she's doing very well. Is she's she doing. around? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Melody! Yes? You have a visitor. Come in! <laughs> nice see you. Thank you, sir. I like. Ah! <laughs> Dad, good afternoon. Good afternoon, my love. How are you? I'm fine. You and look. You? I'm good. You look good. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Uh, I I bought this for you. Oh, wow! Well, yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, do you mind? We'll go get some ice cream. Oh. And pizza. Ah, no problem. Uh, let me get change. Okay. Wow. A lot has changed. Yeah. Honestly, I was scared that she walked out. Scared? Yeah. Come on. Melody is a sweet child with a good heart. <laughs> but the thing is, she keeps asking me if her mother is coming back. And I don't know what to tell her. <sighs> I believe with time she will get over it. I pray she does. Let me uh, get this wine for both of us. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's make do with the one in the bar. Oh, the one in the bar. Yeah. So I keep this for myself. The boss. <laughs> the boss. I'll be right back. Thank you, sir. Thank you for everything, sir. Melody, are you okay? Hmm. What's going on? I thought we came out to have fun. You're not enjoying your ice cream. Did I say anything wrong? I miss mom so much. I wish she was here. I can imagine. I can imagine how you, how hard it is for you. Can you forgive her? I should be asking you. Can you forgive mommy? I forgiven her a long time ago. Can you? I'm forgiving her too. Really? Yeah. That means you two can get back together and we can become a family. Is that what you want? Y yes. Do you know where she is? So we can go visit her? On the contrary, no, I don't know where she is right now, but I could go in search for her if that will make you happy. Thank you. You're welcome, darling. <laughs> so, can you not enjoy your ice cream? Mm, thank you. Okay. <laughs> mm. Babe, what are you watching? My dear, I'm just looking for any nice comedy to watch. Are 
you expecting someone? Oh, maybe it's that guy. Please, I told you I don't want to celebrate my birthday. I don't want to celebrate. I'm not in the mood for that. This is a time to fix shit. Fix what? Fix your life. 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 Fix Please have a seat. Hi. Alex. Yeah. Please. If this is one of your revenge schemes or an attempt to pay back, I beg you in the name of God, please. I'm sorry. I don't want trouble. Please. I'm already paying for for the consequences of my actions and, and it's 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 it hurts. Please, Alex. Bruce. Please sit down. Um, in life, we all make mistakes. But what matters is how fast we move to correct those mistakes. Even when I was angry with you, a part of my heart still beat for you. Rose, I am not here for myself. I'm here because of our little angel, Melody. She needs you. She wants you back. She misses you every now and then. Rose, I want to put aside everything that happened between us just to make her happy. But I don't know if you want to cope with that. I don't know what to say. I've, I failed my daughter. How do I look her in the face? She called me a disgrace. I am. What do I tell her? How do I apologize? Um, I have good news for you. Melody told me in confidence that she has forgiven you. Yes. Rose, she's only but a child. It will be easier for you as an adult to move on. She needs you to move on herself. Well, um, if you don't have anything to say for now, you still have some time to think about it. Alex, thank you. Thank you very much. And I want to personally apologize once again. I've hurt you in more ways than one and I don't know if you can find it in your heart to forgive me. Please, I'm sorry. Oh, well, um... I am an adult. I am a man. A real man. I've forgiven you long ago, even before you ask. If I haven't forgiven you, what am I doing here? Thank you. You're welcome. Babe, today is your birthday. Why not make a wish? Hmm. Um. I've made too many mistakes in my life. I don't, I don't know if God would grant any of my wishes at this point. But if he's listening, I, I want my family back. But you have one already. I know, I have you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Not me, though. Ha. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. My baby. I missed you so much, Mom. 
deception. So why did you leave without saying goodbye? I'm still angry. I realize everything. Sorry. It's okay. Thank you. It's okay. It's okay. Rose, happy birthday. Enough of these tears. It's time to celebrate. Let's pop this wine and chess for a new dawn. Evil displayed as a smile on your face. What do you gain? How do you sleep when you know that you like through? Time in a matter of time. 